So this is going to be the part 3 of our complete application in ASP.NET with C-Sharp uh, with very little coding and today we are going to be setting up our domain models. Domain models are simply classes that you use in your application. In part 2 we are able to set up the layout and let me just show you so we download it, downloaded the template and we are able to set up the layout in our application. So this is the basic layout. However, we've set this layout up uh, and our application now recognizes the layout, the CSS, the JS files. And that's why when I run the application, we can see the home page. So let me just run it. And this is where we are currently. So today we are going to be setting up the domain model for this application. Again, the step by step is right here. We are going to be following the step by step. And let me just show you the summary of the domain models I'm talking about. So this is the domain models, the tables in the database and the relationship between these tables. But we are not going to be creating these tables manually. These tables will be created for us by using an object relational mapping tool called Entity Framework. We are going to see how it all works out in this application. So you are not going to be doing this uh, by drawing these diagrams or creating these tables manually. They are going to be generated and you're going to see how it works. Again, the completed application is in my GitHub uh, repository. So you can just go to GitHub and you can go to the models folder right here. And you see all the classes right here that represents the domain models here. So let's go uh, follow the step by step. And now application starts up and this is where we are currently. So we have our template that has been set up for us, okay? So I'm going to stop it and let's go to set up our domain models. Now I can simply copy this file from GitHub repository and paste it, but it's better you do it uh, one by one so that you appreciate and exactly see how it works. So one of the classes is the patients because we are talking about hospital management system, hospital MS. So we have a patient class represents a patient that is being admitted or is being uh, treated in the hospital. And he has a patient ID, first name, last name, email address, country, country ID. Now you can add a whole lot of other fields in this class. But to keep it simple, as this is just a demo, uh, I've kept it simple so that I don't get things complicated. One thing you can see from here is that there is a, a relationship between a patient and a country uh, you can see it in that diagram I showed you before. Everything is right here in my website. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, like I used to say, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click on the subscribe button and also let me know if you have challenges. This is for strictly um, everyone, both beginners as part. You can follow this tutorial. I've made it to be as little coding as possible. All right, so let's follow the procedure. The procedure says, um, let's see. The domain model should present the object. Okay, so we have the patient class um, and so on. Um, let's see. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to our application and go to the models folder. So here in our models folder, we have error view model. Okay, so from here you simply start creating your classes. So the first one I'm going to create now, I'm going to create new class. I'm going to create new item and uh, choose class and give it a name right here. So I'm going to call it patient. Now the names of the classes has to be singular. So it has to be patient, not patients. And I'm going to say add. To save time, I'm going to simply copy the, the code and paste it and then explain it to you. So we have the code here, and I'm going to simply copy this, copy this, and paste it. All right, so we have the attributes uh, of the class. You can see that country have given us a red squiggly line because we've not, pasted, we've not created the country class. That doesn't matter. Um, so if I go back to my repository, um, let's say we have the patient class and we have the, the class right here, that's fine. Okay, so we have appointments. This is very important because appointment has a relationship with the patients and it also has an enum type called status. 
So I'm going to create it um, right here at this point. I'm going to right click. Alright, so at this point I've created all the classes we need. So our domain model is ready. And we have, uh, let, let's see how many classes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now let me just show you something important um, about relationship. So let's talk about relationship between patients and country. It means that a patient belongs to a country or it means that in a, in a patient record there must be country and in the patient uh, model you must provide the country as a as a uh, as an attribute and also the country id so if i go to the patient we have the country and also the country id so there are two things the country and the country id take notes don't forget Sometimes some specify just one country. Uh, that is fine, but we are going to be using migration. So somehow we need also the country ID to be able to generate um, CDAS or uh, 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 initial data for the database. So at this point, we've completed creating our models. I'd like you to take some time to get your head around the relationship between um, the domain models. So I'm going to stop here for now because we are keeping it easy and in the next part, let me see, I think in the next part we are now going to set up our SQL light and also um, set up entity framework, set up the data context and actually generate these tables in the database. I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember, subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges whatsoever, please do let me know. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.